power play to show strength and solidarity against their enemies, a major move by longtime best friends, looks to shake up the canvas of General Hospital for some time to come, and within the framework of the story, three performers took the material they were given and broke our hearts throughout last week's episodes of the ABC daytime drama series. Steve Burton, Jason, and Laura Wright, Carly, showed us the deep inner conflict of their characters as after a remark by Ava, Maura West, about marriage being in part a contract, but also part theater in the life of the mob, the two longtime besties come to a conclusion. Courtesy slash ABC with the territory beginning to ramp up the violence again within the five families, Jason thinks if they got married it's the best decision for the business with Sonny, Maurice Fennard, gone. He points out there is no going back from this. Then, Carly recalls their history, how they were once together, until she ultimately pushed him away, and Jason reminds her how she tests and tests things until they break, which is why her relationship with Sonny worked so well as a duo, and, why with him it did not. An emotional Carly thinks everyone will think she planned this given her history with Jason. He assures her that all that is important is that the two of them know why they took this step. Later in the week, Jason and Carly meet again, and it's at that moment that Carly realizes she has to take off her wedding rings to Sonny. Jason says she doesn't have to do that right now if she is not ready. She bites the bullet and says that it has to be done. As she removes her wedding rings, she breaks down in tears and notes how much she misses Sonny. Courtesy slash ABC throughout the week, there was another key player in all of this, Brit. After admitting how much she is falling for Jason, she is excited that Jason is coming by her room to see her at the Metro Court. When he shows up, Brit knows something is up. Jason tells Brit he is marrying Carly, and that it is the best move to protect the family and the business. He is overcome delivering this information to Brit, just when things were starting between the two of them. A devastated Brit tells Jason to get the hell out. Jason tells her that she matters to him and that he will be there for her. She cries as she tells him she doesn't want his pity or support, and she should have known that Carly will always come first. Brit is completely blindsided and shocked as Jason leaves, courtesy slash ABC next, a heartbroken Brit visits Brad, Perry Shen, in Pentonville, where stunned Brad learns that Brit slept with Jason, and she fills him on how they came together and how it's now called off between her and, the hitman. Brad is so sorry Jason hurt her, but then says, staying away from Jason probably will add years to her life expectancy. Sadly. Brad doesn't know that Brit has the marker for Huntington's disease. Courtesy slash ABC throughout all of her scenes, Kelly Thibault played all the beats to perfection, and who knew we all would care so much for the bridge, but we do in the capable hands of this talented actress. Courtesy slash ABC so, for all the reasons noted above Michael Fireman TV names Steve Burton, Laura Wright and Kelly Thibault were the power performances of the week. Now let us know, what did you think of the scenes featuring Jason, Carly, and Britt, and where the storyline is heading? What did you think of Steve, Laura, and Kelly's performances? Let us know in the comment section. Add block test, why?